everybody. Let's just sit together for a few minutes and remember that which actually can't be forgotten. Just relax for a minute. Let the tensions go. You don't have to chase them away, just let them leave. Let the relaxation that already wants to happen, happen. I want you to notice what's hearing this voice. What hears do the ears hear? Can a shovel dig a hole? Or is it just a tool? In this way, the ears also are just tools. What is it that hears? There is no one home, either here or over there. There is attentiveness, there is alertness here and there. But is there an owner to this alertness? Is there an owner to this attentiveness? Now, can you find any separation between here and there? Comfortably relaxed, eminently safe. Can you find any separation? between here and there. Can you find here? Can you show me a boundary to here? In the absence of a boundary to hear, a boundary which cannot be found, can you find a center to hear? Do you know what here is? From here, I do not know what here is. From here, I do not know what does not know what here is. Whatever it is that here is here. And notice that it can't be described because it's prior to language. 
notice that. Notice that there's a strong sense of existence over there. There's a strong sense of being. But can you find an owner to the sense of being? What is it that's looking for the owner of the sense of being? It's this alertness, it's this attentiveness, is it not? This attentiveness, can it look for itself? This attentiveness, can it find itself? Is this attentiveness over there? Or do you notice there's no over there, over there, but only here, here, now? Attentiveness cannot notice its own absence but it can know of its own absence. What do you remember prior to the birth of that unit? Tell yourself the truth. What do you remember from deep dreamless sleep last night? Tell yourself the truth. If you've ever experienced anesthesia or been knocked out temporarily, what do you remember from those periods? I remember nothing prior to the birth of this unit. I don't even remember the birth of this unit. There was no me there to remember the birth of this unit. There was no me there in deep dreamless sleep or anesthesia. There was no sense of being, but I noticed that I can know of the absence of the sense of being. I can know of time is not the right word to use here, but we'll use it, use it as a tool. There is a no time time that I'm aware of, whatever it is that I am. I can call myself this consciousness because I'm not other than this consciousness. But neither does this consciousness equal me. The consciousness cannot equal me because somehow it can be known that there are periods where I'm devoid of consciousness. 
in this moment, there is a sense that I am. I cannot declare that I am. I cannot declare that I am not. And I don't know what it is that can't declare that it is or is not. Whatever it is, it's prior to being. It's prior to non-being. It's prior to life. It's prior to birth. It's prior to death. It is the lifeness of life itself. <clears throat> it is the lifeness of life itself. The sense of being comes and goes not with consciousness, but as consciousness. Bodies come, bodies go. Consciousness comes, consciousness goes. You never go anywhere. because there's nowhere for you to go. There's only you, that which is prior to manifestation, that which is prior to the idea of manifestation, that which is prior to experience, which can at least seemingly come to know itself and then seemingly come to lose knowledge of itself. But itself, it never changes. It never moves, it never fluctuates. There is only this stillness. There is only this silence. And stillness that I speak of is prior to stillness. The silence that I speak of is prior to silence. It's not the opposite of noise and stillness is not the absence of motion. It's prior to all concepts of either one. You cannot come to know it, but you can come to know of it somehow in a seeming experiential way. I have no knowledge of how this works. I have no knowledge. I do not know what I am. I do not know if I am. I know that there is a sense of being. This is what you know also. This sense of being is not other than you, but it's not equal to you. The sense of being rises and falls within you. You are not to be experienced. You are prior to experience. 
you have no sense of coming to be or coming to not be. There is a sense of being and then there is no knowledge, no knowledge of yourself, no suspicion of yourself, no idea of yourself. Beyond, beyond, unimaginable, unattainable, unforgettable. Goodbye for now.